Hi! If you're like me, you got all excited when you saw how you could make these cool pop-up cards with the new Stampin' Up! Balloon Adventure stamp set and the coordinating balloon pop-up thinlet dies. And then you get it and you pull out the die. And you think, uh-oh, now what? I'm going to show you. And it's really easy. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And for 16 years, I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So after I get done showing you how easy it is to create the pop-up portion for inside your cards, I've got another tip to share with you with this die. And of course, I'll show you the finished card. Here's a closer view of the Balloon Adventure stamp set and the coordinating Balloon Pop-Up Thinlet dies. Both of these are available to order from the 2017 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. And when you order them together in the Balloon Adventures bundle, using the special bundle item number I have listed right here, you'll save 10% on both. Pop-up fun and savings. And look, we've got some balloon stamps, some really fun greetings, and some other stamps to go with the balloons, and then the dies. Some balloon dies, these thinlet dies with the intricate detail and bows, and of course the pop-up part. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate for you today. So I'm all ready to use my balloon pop-up die, but then my first question was, hmm, I wonder what size I should cut the cardstock for that inside insert, you know, for the pop-up portion. So what I did was grab my 2017 Stamp Up Occasions catalog and looked at the sample they had. I looked at that and I thought, that looks like there's a good quarter inch around the whole thing. I like that idea a lot. I like the color that it gave me, but I also like that, you know, the bigger the border, the little bit more slack I have. You know, it will sh won't show as much if I wasn't quite perfect. <laughs> and of course, that works for me. So I cut my Whisper White cardstock to eight by five. And this made it really easy because easy numbers to cut in half. And so what I did know was that this was going to need to go right in the center. Okay, well, see, this will be the cutting side down. But I knew this had to go in the center. Well, the easiest way to find the center was to go ahead and score my card. So I've got my Stampin' Trimmer, and so we've got the cutting blade is the darker, and the scoring blade is that lighter gray. So let me pick this up here. And so I've got my card stock. So half of eight is four. Easy, easy measurements. So I put this at four inches, and let's go ahead and pull that scoring blade right over it. So now, with that score line, I know right where to place the die. So now I need to grab my Big Shot. So I have my Big Shot die cutting machine. The directions for the balloon pop-up thinless dies recommended using the magnetic platform. Now the magnetic platform is an additional purchase to the Big Shot, but one that I highly recommend if you're going to be using the thin metal framelit dies. It just makes it so much easier because the metal dies cling to it and hold them in place. So the next part of our sandwich is a cutting pad and then our scored cardstock. Okay, so place that on here and then our die. The cutting edge is that raised edge, so we're going to turn that over. So what we need to be able to do is line up, see this line right down there, on that score line that we just did. Okay, so let's place that on here. And if you're going to stamp on this, I recommend that you do not fold on that score line. You'll have a much better surface for stamping. There we go. And then the remaining part of our sandwich is another cutting pad. So we just go ahead and crank this right through. And because I have those thin strings, the balloon strings, I'm going to go ahead and back up and give it a second run through. Okay, and so when you line this up right, the balloon is right in the center. We'll have a score line. Oh, look at that. So then we just need to pop out these other pieces. Okay. <laughs> and I'll probably take my paper piercing tool to get the rest of them. So I have one of my absolute favorite tools, my paper piercing tool. It's always by my side. So let's go ahead and finish popping these out. Okay, that's coming off pretty easily. Now this is pretty fine right here. So I want to pull gently. Oh, there we go. That came out so nice. 
and then in between here, oh, there we go. Ah, fantastic. All right, so we've got all that popped out. So what we need now is to know how to fold them because this did also create score lines for us. So this is going to pop out and see, we already had our score line there. So you can take your bone folder, give that a nice fold. Again, don't do this until you're done stamping, okay? Now this needs to come up. So this is what we're gonna call a mountain fold. And this is a valley fold. Like I said, we've got that score line there. So let's be gentle because right, we've got that hole right there. It's gonna follow along quite nicely. There we go. Just pinch along there. Very nice. All right, let's come up over here. Let's even that up to the top. All right, and let's use our bone folder again. Get that good crisp full. Fantastic. Right, and so we need to do that same thing on this side. So just let's pinch. There we go. And the more you do things, the easier it gets. The first time is always, boy, you're not so sure of yourself. But then, like I said, it just gets easier and easier. And our bone folder. Ah, there. Look at that. <laughs> and so here's how it will fit on the inside of our card. And we look at that border we have all the way around. So they recommended a strong adhesive, and I think that's a good idea because, you know, it's going to be opening and closing. And so a good strong adhesive and easy to use is the tear and tape adhesive. So let's go ahead and put some on each side. Set that aside. I'll have all the measurements for my card and supplies. Um, there'll be a link to it to find it on my blog post with this card. Okay. So let's go along that edge and we can just tear this. Oh, love it. All right, let's do both of these edges. And because they're going to have fun because you just can't help yourself. <laughs> Get a card like that. You just can't help it. Open and close, open and close. So let's go ahead and take that off. You could do one side at a time if you wanted and then, then peel it off. But I think we'll be okay. Love how easy that comes off. So here. So we know we want this in the center. So I'm just going to place it before I even get started. Look, I can stretch it out. Lining up the two center lines and I'm looking from top to bottom and side to side. And that's looking really good. So let's set one side down. There we go. Look how nice that is centered. And don't you like that extra little bit border? I think it's really sharp. All that pretty color. There we go. Look how easy that is. And then it's going to fold along that score line. And when they open it up, pop! <laughs> easy to do. All right, so I have something else to show you. I have um, one of my stampers. She said, to, is there a die that goes with that banner? I keep hand cutting it. And so, you know, I looked at the catalog and they didn't have it, you know, highlighted around there. And I thought, there's got to be. So I've got a trick for that too. So let me grab my big shot again. The banner stamp is designed to be able to fit right on here. Really cool, right? So I thought, okay, this is what we're going to do. I have the Big Shot die cutting machine again, the magnetic platform. We need a cutting pad and my cardstock. So I've got a piece of cardstock here and the die again. So we're just going to place this on here. There we go. And go ahead and feed that through. All right, and you know what? It doesn't hurt to go ahead and just back up and to be extra sure we've got a really good cut. And so now we've got that die cut. So we've got it die cut, and there's a little bit of work to do, but very easy to do. I've got my paper snips, and let's go ahead and trim these off right, right along. Okay, looking good. Along the top, we'll trim these off. Boom, boom, easy, easy, easy. Okay, and so then along the sides here, we just have these fishtails, but it's so um, deeply embossed, it's easy to see. Let me trim that away. And easy to follow along these lines. Now, the Balloon uh, Adventure stamp set and the Balloon Pop-Up Thinlets dies, like I said, they're in the 2017 Occasions catalog. What we don't know is how long they'll be available. On April 10th, the retiring list will come out for the 2017 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog 
and or the yeah the 2017 stamp up occasions catalog and the 2016 2017 stamp up annual catalog and so we'll find out then if they'll be available to order in the new catalog or if you're going to want to hurry up and get them um, before they run out of stock the stamp sets will be guaranteed available to about seven to ten days before the end of the catalog but once the retiring list comes out, accessories are all while supplies last. And so look how easy that was to go ahead and trim those right off following those lines. Certainly a lot easier than hand cutting it, stamping it, and hand cutting it. So I want to show you my card. Oh, and if you want to have those retiring lists, get on my mailing list. Just go to www.thestampersinsider.com and I'll have that list out as early as humanly possible on April 10th for you. So here's the card that I designed. I really like that greeting. Here's um, to another year full of adventures. I use the dies, and then I put white behind them so I could see them, you know, some white. And I use the Party Animal Designer Series paper. So we've got that right here, the, the diagonal stripes, the sparkle, and I used it inside too. But here is the Party Animal washi tape, keeping everything oh so coordinated. And so then we pop it open, look at that. And so I also use the die cut part and I emboss this with um, the white Stampin' Emboss Powder. The best is yet to come. And a little bit more designer paper. I really like their sample. Now they put it along the bottom. I like it at the top so I have room to sign it. <laughs> All right. But I thought that was a really smart way to not just leave it blank, but if I fill it all in, I don't have room to sign it. So I really like their idea with that. So easy and fun to do. And like I said, using the suite of products with the party animal um, paper and washi tape, the balloon adventure stamp set, and the balloon pop-up thinlet dies. And whoop, how fun is that? And easy, easy to do. If you'd like to make my balloon adventures pop-up card, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.